I, I picked a color for you, two colors, actually. Okay. So I thought this kind of nice, kind of, I don't know, tar color. Yeah, kind of edgy. Yeah. yeah, totally. And then maybe this for a little levity. What do you think? The yin and the yang. Honestly, let's party. Josh Ostrowski, a.k.a. The Fat Jewish, a.k.a. The Fat Jew, has been making quite a name for himself these days as the king of Instagram. Known for his hilarious, at times even thought-provoking posts, his crazy antics. This is a cardio party! And even crazier hair, The Fat Jewish now has more than 3 million followers. I wanted to know how he got his foot in the door, so we met up recently in Queens at a nail salon. Are you a big pedicure guy? Yeah, I like to make sure that I'm looking terrible at all times, but I would like my feet to be perfect. Ah. Yeah. We actually work out of another nail salon in Queens. We work in the back in like the waxing room. Sometimes they will book appointments so someone will be getting waxed like next to an intern on the internet and it's a very small room. I like to work in alternative spaces, but I prefer to get my pedicures here. Tell me sort of the genesis of this whole thing. It basically just started as like me just like putting up just funny stuff because I'm such a giver. I just can't stop giving. And I was just like, I want to put up funny things for people to enjoy. And now it's gone like, Mainstream. it just became this, this big thing. I've gotten hit up by people being like, you know, like you've really pulled me out of my daily struggle. Like I've like, I'm becoming, I'm being my hero. I'm basically a hero, which like yeah. I did not intend to it's be. It's like you and Oprah. I'm very Oprah, yeah. I'm a lot more Oprah, except I like definitely cannot give away a car. Yeah, I'm like, you get a croissant, and you get a croissant, but you'll both reimburse me. And it's day old, but no big right. deal. Right. <laughs> What's with the fat Jew versus the fat Jewish? I got kicked off of Instagram a couple times for putting up like sort of, I guess, like explicit content. Mm -hmm. And every time I got kicked off, I couldn't get my handle back. Oh. Right, so they made me change it. So it was the fat Jew, then the fat Jew, then I made the fat Jewish. And you weren't you Juther Vandross? Wasn't that one of your names? I have thousands of aliases. I have Juther Vandross, Jews and Sarandon, Whitney Houston, Jew Diamond Phillips, um, Jubix Cube, Jew Lissies S. Grant, the fat Jew of Liberty, the Grand Jew to Pest Hotel, Patrick Jewing, Jewish Farrakhan. I mean, how much time do you have? Like, I could really go all day. All right, so how do you come up with the pictures? Where do you find them? It's just my gift. It's the only <laughs> thing that I can do in this world. A lot of stuff I actually make myself. Like if, like sometimes if you see a tweet from like DMX, you know, or like some kind of like hardcore rapper being like, about to go antiquing upstate, like I'm refinishing Dutch furniture, like he probably didn't write that. I Photoshop that. I have a team of interns who are just like feverishly searching the internet. And now I have like people send me hundreds of photos. My husband sent you a photo he was hoping you would use. No way, what yeah, was it? Yeah, we were up in Boston for Thanksgiving and there was this profoundly obese squirrel. Whoa. And of course, it needed the fat Jewish touch. I love that one, I saw it and I loved it. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Um. I think what really makes the fat Jewish, the fat Jewish, right. is the captions, obviously. Right. So how do you come up with these captions? How did George Washington found America? You know what I mean? How did whoever painted the Sistine Chapel do that? Michelangelo, was that who that was? Yes. Whatever, yeah, how did he do that? I don't know, it just is. It's just a gift. It just comes. Let's talk about some of the Instagrams. A recent favorite of mine is the sign in front of Subway that really required no caption by you. Satisfy your Valentine this year with a foot long. Right. They were probably not referencing Jewish people. Yeah. What? Then there was one that I saw that was a hilarious tombstone. I told you I was sick, yeah. <coughs> I feel like that's every Jewish grandmother's dying last words. It's like, I told you I was sick. Yeah. Like, why is it so humid in here? And then just die. I give up. You replaced mm -hmm. Paula Deen's face with Katy Perry's. Right. And you're right, it still looks like Paula Deen. It's kind of mind blowing, right? Yeah. I like Hillbilly too. You yep. took half Hillary, half Bill Clinton. Yep, a friend of mine actually made that and like just really exploded my brain into like a thousand pieces with that. You have a lot of fun with Kanye West. You showed what he wants his baby to really look like. Which is just him, yeah, totally. But I'm not sure that he's looking at Instagram because he actually got in touch with me and we had brunch. What? And like, so I don't know if he's like not seeing it or he like doesn't care or maybe he's feeling it. I got emails from people being like, Kanye like needs to, like he wants to see you. Then we ended up having like a crazy brunch where he mostly just screamed the entire time. Seriously? Like, well, it's like he mentioned that he had spoken to Obama um, and that he told Obama, Barry, 
um, my, my dude, you are not taking the right meetings. I'm not really sure what that means or like who he's supposed, who Obama's supposed to be meeting with, but Kanye apparently does not think that he's meeting with the right people. So you have some pretty famous fans. There's like younger ones that make more sense, like Miley and Katy Perry, like people who are like more into like my aesthetic. Right. Um, but like when I find out that like, you know, Juliette Binoche is a huge fan, kind of blows my mind. Like that's weird. I don't know, you, you know what? You never know what people are into. Some people criticize you and say, hey, this guy is taking like other people's work and then he's using it and claiming that it, it has his own. And yeah. Thoughts? Uh, I, first of all, like, you gotta understand, like the internet is like a the internet is like a giant weird orgy where like everything gets shared. A lot of people are using stuff that I make. Every time I make a photo um, and I put it out there, it gets reblogged on a million sites, and I would never like put my name on it because like we're we're all at this giant. It's like, kind of like we're all on ecstasy at a giant rave. <laughs>the money making aspect of this. Yeah, there's some there is some money in this. Brands know that I have an army of children and they basically let me like make videos for them and commercials essentially for the internet and let me do whatever I want. Like what? Tell me give me an example. It's Burger King, it's you know Virgin Mobile, it's um it's Craftsman Tools. They called me and were like, "What what are we doing?" And I was just like, "You're building me a giant bowl of chili." I'm sitting in it and then I want, what do I call them? Exotic dancers, I'll call them. <laughs> yes. Sprinkling chopped onion and shredded cheese on me. And you got in the chili bowl, uh -huh. which looked really, really disgusting. Was that gross? Mm, it's kind of gross and not gross. I think it exfoliated me a little bit. I actually had a glow. I kind of looked pregnant when I got out. Um, but I also was like finding beans in like weird places that I didn't even know on my body. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, no, enough, like, DMI. I'm just seeing how much I can possibly get away with. I covered my entire apartment in these like chicken fries, which was like a thing they were bringing back and just laid in them. For who? For Burger King. You've also worn a, a vest made out of beef jerky. When I first tried three jerks filet mignon jerky, my mouth puked a rainbow. I got a beef jerky yarmulke, I got a beef jerky vest, I got a thong, I got slippers. now, right? Yeah. When did you guys get married? A few months ago. It was a small ceremony, and actually, the best part about it was officiated by Tyrese. Muzzle off! Let me ask you about toast. Yes. Can we see toast? How did this come about? Um, I don't know, Katie Couric, how much you know about dog Instagram in 2015, but it is crazy. Like, dogs are making money. All the moms are like super like stage mom and competitive with each other. Really? Yeah, totally. She got like a deal with like Swiffer. She like appears at like events. Yeah, and, it's, she's, wow. and she's becoming like a total diva. How did you find Toast? Toast was a rescue dog. Actually, all of her teeth were rotted. Aww. And so once all of her teeth were taken out, her tongue just hangs out all the time. Aww. And um, but it does give her a unique look. It became her thing. It's like J-Lo's butt or like, um, you know, Cindy Crawford's mole. It's like Toast thing. Totally, she got the tongue. So what are you gonna do? You're establishing a huge presence on social media. Books, movies, TV. Um, you know, I got a line of Tupperware coming out, oven mitts. Come on. Plus size no, modeling. you're lying. Plus size modeling. I, I, if, if you can think of it, I'm doing it. I mean, you must think the world is mad. It's very disturbing, the things that are going on. 2015 is weird. Yeah, and yeah. you're kind of uh, enjoying it. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm like super into it. I mean, I'm getting pedicures with you. Like, this is awesome. How many memories can we make? That's really what I'm going for. That's so beautiful. I know. <laughs> Maybe we're so different that we're the same. Maybe. Maybe you're my spirit animal. Maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> can you stop holding my hand now? No. Yes, no. <laughs>